Hello, 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 hello. I just felt led to come on here today and I don't know, I guess everybody's having a Labor Day cookout today and wishing everyone happy Labor Day and all of that. I don't really take to a lot of these holidays in any big way at all, but all respect to those who do. And I just felt like to come on here. Um, I'm like, Lord, okay, what are we coming on here for? <laughs> but I'm going to be obedient and come on. And what I guess immediately on my heart is that you people get caught up in these holidays. And here again is another one. And perhaps you're alone. But you're not alone. And that's what God wants you to know. You're never, never, ever alone. And where you are in the state of your life is where he wants you to be with him. You know, there are times we have to separate ourselves from other people and focus on God and spend time with God because where he is taking you, the vision you have seen, heard, um, imagined, praying about, he's preparing you for that. You know, and you cannot be prepared around a lot of people at times too many voices in the head you know too many distractions so use this time it's a blessing if you can have time alone to yourself you know it may not always be this way may not have always been this way you know and you're praying for situations that had you caught up you know and God is trying to let you see that that was not where I wanted you to be. It was no good thing in it. You were stressing, crying. Now you're crying for what you were crying for. You know, be free and enjoy the things of God. You know, the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord. <laughs> if you're not laughing and finding joy in every day by yourself, a person, place, or thing is not going to do that for you. You're supposed to be able to find it right now where you are. When Daniel, well, Meshach, Meshach, and Abednego was in the lion's den, what were they doing? What were they doing? Dancing. They were dancing in the fire. I'm not proclaiming that for anyone, but there are going to be times where you're in the fire. You're going through things. You're being prepared. You got to find joy then. God will love you. Teach you how to love. Love yourself first. You can't love anybody or anything or any place if you don't love yourself first. That's why marriages fail. It's people haven't taken the time to deal with their own baggage. And they marry someone that didn't deal with their own baggage. Then you got all these bags trying to unfold and not unfold, cover, press down and hiding. You know, you got to spend time to get to know you. Be true to yourself. Who are you? Who are you in the Lord? What is your purpose? What is your plan? What is your vision? You know, and a lot of women, you're not ready to serve a man. What? Serve a man? No, you're not even to the point of thinking that you are called to serve your husband. And you're not going to want to serve a husband that is not serving the Lord. So you need to spend time with the Lord so your vision is clear on what does that look like? What does a godly man and woman supposed to embody? What do they look like? Okay, and for one, it's time spent alone. So enjoy your alone time. Seek the Lord. Seek his plans and visions for your life and find some joy. Learn to find joy in the Lord. Because he is truly your strength. Love you.